Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how we can create a build pipeline in Azure DevOps with Classic Editor. So for this demo, let's go to Visual Studio. Then first we are going to clone a repository because we have already an existing repository called Softwish App Demo. And we can go to our user branch. We can see that all the details. I'm going to take that URL for this. Then I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to change that location where we can have that different project. Let's have the Softwish Demo only name. Uh, or we can put that soft with add demo. So this is going to now I'm going to clone that. Now I am going to change my branch to user branch. And now inside user branch, I want to add one project. that will be sp.net code web app and let's put the same name for project also uh, demo and we can bring that one inside this. and we are going to create a new solution so with all the details i'm going to click on the next and then it will be dotnet 6.0 right now authentication type equals to none and configure for https so i'm going to create this project now right now it is into folder view i want to change into solution explorer view and for project i am going to change that one little bit and say that this is ci and cd so which demo let's run this locally first to see this is up and running now i'm going to push my changes to my local branch for that i'm going to git changes I'm going to select what files i'm going to push not going to solve these files because that is necessary so i'm going to ignore that file we can select that hey uh, ignore this local item bin files or object files let's ignore that i want to check in my pages i want to ignore my properties launch settings and then ignore this local item i want to do that css i want to do csi.js i do not want to do or leave any other things the state distribution jQuery CS and other things so I'm not going to so let's ignore this let's ignore that ww root itself because that I don't think is required ignore that and now I'm going to select whatever we need stage that and then put in the thing initial commit is that and right now it is committed locally i am going to push to my branch now we have already this branch so let's go and see that one if we freeze that one we have just check in we can create a pr to mean but before that one i want to set up and see that how the build look like and build is being successful or not so i'm going to click on the setup build now we have multiple way to set up the pipeline and we can go because we have that core framework set up so we can go and select that core framework and we have multiple options to see that and .NET Core, .NET Core Framework. So right now, what is our selection over there? We can see that in more details that we have selected .NET Core, .NET Framework 6, I guess. .NET Framework, .NET 6, not Core. So I'm going with it. So we are going with this selection now, ASP.NET Core, .NET Framework. 
and we can have azure pipeline which will be yml pipeline which is going to build and then it is going to test we can have this way also and we can have different way right now this is yml way i am going to create with a classic way so i can go to pipeline in pipeline i can say that create pipeline and in pipeline that's if we select this one yml way then it will go to new way but let's go for classic editor now we have to select our repository which is our software web app demo default branch for manual and schedule build is main and we can change that one when we are going to trigger so let's keep that and let's click on continue and if you have multiple team project then you can change the project if you have multiple repository in a different way so you can change that whatever you want to do but for this demo because our code is in software web app and demo we will go with that so next will be that which type of template you want to use you can have empty job you can select that uh, whatever featured way we can have so let's go ahead and select asp.net because we know that our web app is asp.net core web app then we can use this template so i'm going to click and apply now we can change the name if you see the name is coming demo asp.net ci the CI is continuous integration. So let's change the name. So with demo the web build. And the next we can see that pipeline where it is going to run. So this is going to run agent pool is uh, right now Azure pipeline uh, because we have not set up any hosted pipeline and other things so that you can get uh, if you do not have any option to see this one you can raise the form so that you can get free grant from microsoft to use azure pipeline and then uh, we will see that which kind of job and other things are there all the version whatever details are there and then first task yeah, so it will install the nuget on that machine where the build is going to happen so this is 4.4.1 is quite old so i'm going to change this one as a 6.1.0 and this is 6 6.1.0 at least and then next task is to get restore where we have this whatever solution is inside our code it is going to pick that one see that where is the path for package config or project.json depending upon project type then it is going to run nuget store command and right now this feed is uh, we can see that feed or use nuget package uh, packages from nuget.org this is different topic altogether when i will get some time we will see that one how to create a private repository from where it is going to detect uh, get the package not from public one so we will see later the next option is that build where we it is going to take the build solution file and building we can unlink this one right now it is for all solution if you have any scenario where if you have multiple solution and you want to build only one solution then you can unlink that one and if you unlink that then you can give the path whatever you can do you can browse the path and other things and you can give that one so and this is the ms build argument what it is going to do and once package location it whatever output is going to be it is going to put into build.r effect staging directory next is if you have any unit test and after build output if you need any test or dll is there it is going to run that unit test using that all this test assembly method so it is going to use visual studio test and run that and then it is going to publish symbol path and then finally it is going to publish that artifact which is the output from build staging directory to main uh, drop location and this is what this uh, build is going to do so let's go ahead and save this build and queue that so while we are going to queue we need to put the comment and i am going to put the comment that initial build and which branch or tag we want to use so right now our code in into uh, my user branch so i'm going to select that and then i am going to save and run now we can see that it is going to use this my user branch and this is that 
a change code change it is commit it is going to run so this was the last commit we did that and then it is going to run and it is going to display all the details for that and then we can see that what is happening by going into a gym job right now it is in slicing and once in a slicing is done it is going to do all the steps which we talked about the right now it is checking out all the code from our repository now it is going to install and see that if nugget is present of with that person on build machine or not then nugget restored from that package is going to happen all the package whatever we are using into our solution it is going to restore all this then now it is building the solution and we have this uh, software demo uh, dot solution so it is going to build right now now it failed let's see it is saying that the feature global directory is currently in preview let's go ahead and see if we have to update anything in build solution right now it says that visual studio latest so i am going to select that one visual studio 2022 and i will give a try i can skip this comment and i can select my branch so let's see more changes and let's go what is the agent specification that is window 2019 Let's see that I'm going to do Windows latest. There is no code inside main, so it is not going to run anything. So I'm going to cancel this. And then I'm going to one more time. I'm going to trigger that one. So to now it is working it was using the old version of vms that is why it was not working so now if we see all of our task is succeeded and it is going to publish all the artifact and other things artifact it got published if you wanted to see artifact after the build and other things you can go into this place where it sees that all the details whatever output is there this is the zip file which is output if you want to download and see that what is inside that one we can see all the details and other things will be there okay, so once we download that one we can go ahead and see what are the different contents inside this one drop file is there and if we drill down we can see the output of all the bin files and other things would be present over there so if you see this application and all the settings on ww root and other things is going to come so this is how this build works if you are using classic and template if you want to create one more without template then if we go into use classic and then uh, same thing we have to select and if we click on the continue we can go for either yml or either template and either we can go for empty job where all the settings will come let me select that latest version first in the pipeline and then we can change the name we can change the name from here also we do not have to go from that place so we can change that one and then we can add from this place so we can have different different complex things also if we wanted to have multiple agent settings and multiple steps we can do from classic editor also and we will see that one inside the yml also for that place also if you wanted to add any task in this agent job we can go ahead here and now we can find that one that hey i want to do nougat so what we want to go and we want to see that hey i want to install the nougat package so let's go ahead and see which version we want to do right 6.10 so we want to install now what we want to do so we want to do nougat restore next step so let's go ahead and do that one nougat and uh, command it is stored all the solution file we can select the solution file and other things from here by uh, changing if you want to write now it, my, my code is not mean it is not saying but i can go ahead and change this place to web app test and if i go now it will browse my test place and we can see all the code where the software is demo and we can select that one the individual solution is also going to build that way also we can do
now we can go to next step and we can see that hey let's try to build up once because nougat is restored all this restored i can go and say that asp.net i want to build with asp.net task so let's try to find task so that will be visual studio build so i can go ahead and put that and this is the setting and then we have to put this all this manually that what is the build argument and other things so for time being i'm going back and copying that one inside that whatever pipeline it was generated that will be easy for me so i can copy paste all the details and it is the same details that what package it is going to do in other details so it all this i can mention here 2022 and then once we are done we can go ahead and say that if you wanted to test then test either you do not want to test that one if you want to test then you can run the test from visual studio test and you can add that test because right now we do not have any test so we we are not going to do so this is basic steps and whatever additional step you want to add you can go ahead and add let's try to save this one and run that Now let's see that. So now it is building, but after that one, we did not added that drop location. So if you go and see that in drop, there is only consumed once there, there is no publish. So we can go ahead and change that to drop itself that lips. Let me add publish artifact one. So publish build artifact, we have to do that. And whatever is in from build staging directory to drop, it is going to do that one. So let's save and queue one more time. Now we can see this publish is also completed uh, and then we can go and see this is publish is coming and we can see in drop. So for this video, I just wanted to show you that how we can check in the code and how we can set up the build using classic editor or YML and other topic, we will create another videos. I hope this video will be useful if you are trying to create build and pipelines. Thank you. Thank you.